Hi everybody, Jo here again. How are you doing? How are things going? I hope you're really enjoying this uh, fairy feast extravaganza. I must admit, it's so wonderful to be part of it. And I do thank Tracy and the team for all the hard work, getting everything together and organising it. Can you imag imagine? So much to organise, <laughs> especially with the DT, us rabble. <laughs> we take some keeping in order, I can tell you. <laughs> but I tell you what, it, it, honestly, it's such fun. And when I've uh, finished this, when we've had our little catch up, I'm heading off to Rothington headquarters to get ready for two days of fun. And honestly, I just love meeting everybody, chatting away. And um, and it's good because we exchange hints and tips. You know, I know we demonstrators demonstrate, but just through talking to each other, it's amazing what hints and tips you can pick up. Oh, and I have to say, it's not always about crafting either. You'd be amazed what we learn. Anyway, enough about that. So today I thought I'd pop in and we're going to use some of these fabulous new stamps that Tracy's released and drawn. And I have to say, you know me, florals do it for me every time. And these are just amazing. Look at the detail. Let me just see if I can bring this a little bit closer. You know, my camera skills aren't that good. Leave a bit to be desired. I need to go on a course, a cameraman's course. <laughs> but look at this. Look at the detail there. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And this, I've got to be honest, is a very simple card to make, but just, I had such fun. I had a great time creating it. And I've used one of these scenescapes, look. Now, sorry, the um, plastic will probably reflect a bit with my light. Now, this one is called Orange Hues, so obviously... The fact that orange is my favourite colour, it's no surprise that we use this one. Now you get four in a pack, which I've got to be honest, I find very useful because I love to make tags out of mine as well, as you've seen before in one of my other videos. And then I've got a matching tag and a card. But also, if you need um, a quick background or you haven't got a background, you know, it's not cheating. You know, we, we can make these backgrounds, but... We don't always have the time to make them, but also sometimes um, you do need a, a card quickly. And I've got to say, when the new stamps come, I'm so desperate to use them that I don't always have chance to, to make a background. I just want to get in and use them. So hence, this is where the um, fabulous scenescapes come in. So I'm going to stand my card to one side. So hopefully I might be able to make something similar, but you know me. It may change a little bit along the way. And we're going to start with our stamping. So I'll get my copy of paper ready. And the scenescapes are beautiful to stamp on. And the first stamp we're going to use is this beautiful new Olivia. Now there are two in this size. There's a small and a larger one. So we're using the small one. And when you start off, if ever you're not sure where to stamp, use your acetate. I know I've said this before, but it's lovely. We've got quite a few new um, followers joining us at the minute. So it's always great to pop your acetate on. And I'm afraid I stamp on the side. So if you're new to me, I'm sorry, you'll get used to it. I've got a lot of little quirks, but there we go. And we seem to have a little Eric dog hair there, but we'll just ignore that. We'll edit that bit out. And I'm going to stamp in black. Obviously, you can use your coloured VersaFine Clairs, but I just want, because I love this, at the bottom, I love this base almost, with it being dark black, and I think my black stamping will really stand out. Now, Olivia here is making a wish, and the idea is that I'm going to put the wish in the moon. So I just want to, I may get my head over, so I do apologise. I want to plant her feet. Look, I know she's a fairy, but we want her feet on the ground. And then I just want her hand just into the moon there. I think that would look a nice composition. So we'll go, we'll go for that. And again, this is a new stamp. So I like to give that ink time to just soak in. And again, always keep one hand on your block. Don't take them both off at the same time. And I'm using our beautiful Lavinia acrylic blocks. 
and there's a lot of detail in this and then straight up there we go and she's just beautiful leaning into the moon I love that already so we'll give that stamp a bit of a wipe with my inky binky and pop her back on the acetate I always like to put her back and then I know where she is I don't want to lose her now in with our beautiful this is called the open dandelion and as I say the detail in this is just amazing so onto the side again and in black now this is quite an open stamp and you'll see when I stamp it what I mean so I want one here just possibly there and then I want another one here just I want the whole thing it's nice to stamp on the edge so it almost looks like this has been taken from a, a much larger piece so I'm thinking I'll just pop that there quite funny the birds are on my bird feeder out the window and I can just hear them so if I get distracted that's what I'm doing I'm looking at them <laughs> Now we've got the lovely heads with this and again do remember you can angle your stamp slightly so we'll put a couple of these on and again I just do all my stamping on the side just because it's easier for me so I'm thinking we'll have that one there straight down and then up now I know you're going to be shouting at me that you can see these um, heads through but we're going to decoupage them so that's why I'm not being overly careful as to how much detail and you can add colour onto the seamscapes they take colour very well but I just want to add a little bit of height so we're going to decoupage them I love that if I just bring that can you see I just love that the shapes there the way they're growing now we just want another one this side let me see I had one on my original do I want yes it does no I think that might look too much I'm gonna leave that now a little tip and this is just something for me where my black ink has come onto the black here I just like to give that a wipe just because it almost looks a bit shiny for me and it's a versifying clay so it's a slower drying ink and I know I don't want to smudge that bit so I'll just again give my stamp a wipe as I say I'll get used to it I'm afraid I am one of these people I like to wipe my stamps and put them back when I've finished with them so while I've got those stamps what I will show you is I'm going to stamp them because we're going to decoupage the heads I would just stamp them on and I do use you know all my little bits I don't know if you're like me um, when I save little bits, I literally do save them because I'm going to use them. I don't see the point of getting a big piece of card to stamp something that I'm going to cut out. I just think it's such a waste. So all these tiny little off cuts, they're what I save and what I use when I'm going to do my, my decoupaging. And I merrily cleaned that stamp, didn't I? You didn't remind me, did you? Now this one, what's great about this is when you just need the heads look, I tend to just round the edge and look, we need two so you can get another one, another one of those on there and they're ready for us just to add colour and cut out. Now I know there's a couple of you, of you, I know our Barbara, you're not keen on your cutting out, so if you didn't want to decoupage them, you know, you don't have to, but for me... I just wanted to add a little bit of height. So while we've got our made design, we'll just add a little bit more down the bottom here, just to add a little bit more interest. And again, when we've got new stamps, we like to use them. So we've got two here. 
and I don't know if you can, they're called leaf spray and again the detail in them is beautiful. In fact, if I just get my block and let's just stamp them on the copy of paper just to show you because the detail, like I say, now this one I must admit I've um, been using a lot in, in the purple Look at that. Can you see just on the copy of paper, so fine. I mean, I'm thinking there are going to be so many uses for this. So many things I'm going to be able to do. So let's just add a little bit of this at the base. And in fact, you know what? I think I will come in with my, my monarch. Now, I put it away, so excuse me, very professional, getting it from the shelf behind me. Because I'm just thinking... It looks so lovely in that. And we've got that purpley hue in the middle, haven't we? So let's just add. Oh, yes, I like that. And again, it's a tall stamp. But remember, you don't have to use. This is second generation. Now, you don't have to use the whole of the stamp. Oh, I sounded a bit northern then, didn't I? The whole of the stamp. You can just use... And again, I just want to add to where we've got the wispy stamping, the grass. I just want to accentuate it. Now we need another one there. I'm going to stick with the, the monarch, the purple. Just think it looks nice against the yellow and orange behind. Yeah, and that's just given me that beautiful. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll pop the lid on. Give my stamp a bit of a wipe and we'll put that back. So that's the leaf spray. And then at the top, we're going to come in, look, with this gorgeous. Now, again, this is, is quite a beautiful stamp in, in a different way. It's got lots of little sort of bobbles on it. And this one's called Leaf Creeper. And again, we've got a large and a small. So we'll put this round. And we'll start off with the large one. And we'll come in with the, the Monarch, the purpley colour first again. And this reminds me of something, but I can't think what it is. So I'm going to just stamp over the moon first. Look, do you know what I mean? It reminds me of, I don't know if it's beads hanging or... Let me know, what do you think? What's in the back of my head? What am I thinking of? And we're just going to almost make a spray here. So this is where I become that frustrated florist. <laughs> and I'm just going to go either side. I don't want it to be too symmetrical, she says. And look at those, they're more or less the same. Didn't mean to do that. I don't want them the same length. So let's just put one that side and another one that side. And again, I tend to stamp furthest away so I have less chance of smudging it. So I'll work on this side now. And I'll have one there. I just want to catch the edge there. Now, I like that and I love that shape. But what I'm going to do is with the smaller one, just come in and change it up and add some in black. So again, this one's called Leaf Creeper. And we'll put the purple ink to one side and get our black ink, which I've now just got on my finger. Very, very delicate this. And we'll just add a couple now because i'm using the two colors it will just help give a little bit more interest but also add a little bit of depth and i just like to do this and i'm not damp i don't want to overcook it i don't want it to look too complicated just so it looks a nice sort of arrangement so let's put a couple here. And I love the way it just comes over the moon there. Must ask Tracy if this is based on a specific plant because I must look it up. It's so pretty. 
I'm going to put a longer one there just to alter that shape up a little bit so it's not too uniform. There we go. And I like that just so it's not too... I just have this thing about I don't want it to look too symmetrical because in nature, think, you know, not of many plants, well, certainly not in my garden, look symmetrical. I'm going to pop that back over there. So again, so that was Leaf Creeper. I think that's one of those stamps that, you know, it's one of those what we call unsexy, but you know, I think that's going to be so useful. And I love the change in density from here. So what we'll do, again, you Versafine Claire, a slower drying ink. And we don't want to smudge it, especially on the scenescapes. Just does take a little bit longer to dry. So we'll give it a good blot. Now, what I also want to do is I'm going to decoupage her wing, which I forgot to do. So she's going to come back. Olivia, come back. We've not finished yet. Just want to decoupage your wing. So again, I'm just going to wing up. And again, another little scrap of paper. Just want to stamp her wing. There we go. I'll put that there. Again, normally you would do it when you stamped her, wouldn't you? But, you know, the, main, the way my head works sometimes. But I'm sure we're all the same. I have these ideas and then I get carried away with what I'm doing. <laughs> so we'll put that to one side now. And I'll just give you a quick, I have actually cut out, you'd be glad to know, I've stamped, coloured and already cut out my decoupage pieces. But just to show you how I've coloured them, Well, we've got a couple here that I'd already stamped. Now, again, you can colour them whichever way you, you like. <clears throat> Different people, sorry, excuse me. We're going to use the um, watercolour pencils. And I'm going to show you my take on it. But believe you me, if you've got your own system ready, you colour them how you, you would normally. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Now, because... I know these are mainly yellow and um, green, but I want to bring a bit of the orange hues in just because that goes. And I do think, you know, when you're doing magical flowers, we don't have to do them exactly what colour they are. We can bring a bit of magic in. So let's have a look. We've got a lovely orange here. And let's go for this yellow and then this green. I like this green. And all I do, and it's very much a bit of a cheat, I've got to be honest. As you know, I've told you before, I am no colourist. I have my little take on it. And all I'm going to do is these beautiful tips at the end. I'm going to add my yellow. And the same on the bud here. I'm going for the yellow. And then at the base, I'm going to have my orange so again, I'm going to do the orange next. And a bit like when I'm blending, I do my opposites. So we'll have the orange there. And again on here, this will just look, we can add some to the shape. And then we're going to bring the green in the middle. And that way I can blend it in to the orange and the yellow at the same time. And again, like I say, this is just, I am no colourist. I keep saying it, but please, I'm not. No professionalism at all with my colouring. This is just my take on it. But it works for me and I find it a nice, good way when I'm teaching workshops. If you've not done much colouring before, it's a nice, easy way to pick up on, on what to do. So I always put my pencils back in and unfortunately they have to go in the right place. Just because then I've less chance of knocking them. And what I do now is get my water brush. And again, this is the number one, the Lavinia one, my favourite one. Just clean the barrel because it's been in my water pot. And I always start with the lightest colour first. I'm going to start with the yellow and just blend the yellow in. So let me look. Can you see what I'm doing? Just wet the tip of my brush now and go into the green and blending that into the yellow and then into the orange and blending that into the green. And then back in my water press and I'm just wiping it on my inky binky may look as I'm wiping it on my top but I'm not and the same with this one start with the orange the lighter color and then as that watercolor starts to work with the water blend into the green and then into the orange and there we go job done beautifully colored and again 
that didn't take much at all did it and I've done the same with her wing but I've used purple and a little bit of orange just to tie that orange in and I've come in with my beautiful violet um, of my signal pen but I have cut these out ready as I say because you know you really don't want to see me colouring them in and I've, there's no need for me to add colour on here because I'm going to decoupage them straight on top. But if you wanted, you could. So I'll put our watercolour pencils away. And we're going to need one of those. Two of those that side. Another one this side and her wing. Just making sure I've got the right bits. Otherwise I might be cutting out... For the actual work, we can just add a few of our little finishing tricks. I mean, if you want to add colour to these, you could, but I think they look nice, just sort of wispy in the distance. But what I will do is bring my Sidno pen in. Oh, and I've just noticed I've got a little bit of stamping on there. And again, I'd just like to wipe that off. There we go. Just want to check my pen's working. Don't tell anyone I did it on the back, will you? So I'm going to add some little white highlights, just to a couple of these, just to add a bit more interest. And just because you're using a scenescape, it doesn't mean you can't use, you know, you want a quick card. I mean, I mean to be honest, if I wasn't chatting and messing, this would be even quicker. I mean, again, you, you could just add the colour straight on. You wouldn't decoupage if you wanted a quick card. But I love cutting out, so I'm, I'm happy with that. But as I say, if you're somebody who doesn't, you would just add the colour straight on. We'll add a little bit there. And then we'll add just a little bit of highlights here. Just a few. I don't again I don't want to over overcook it. And on the grass here, some nice white. And again, I'm not doing it on all of them. So again, you can see that your gel pen works beautifully on the scenescapes. We'll add a little bit on there. Oh, no need to add that, is it? It's on here, so. Hmm. Let's have a look here. And then we'll come in with our purple, the signal. And again, we'll just add some little purple dots. And I want to add the purple. I could have added the white, but I like the purple on these fronty bits just around her dress. And we'll just add a couple of little purple dots around. I'm not colouring them all in, just a couple of. And then we've got our fabulous, and you know I struggle over saying this, bippity boppity glue. <laughs> I'm sure Tracy named it that just because she knew I'd struggle. So I'm in my head it's Lavinia glue. Fabulous. It um, dries clear. So it's perfect for this. And you've got wiggle time. And, you know, we all like a bit of wiggle time, don't we? And I must admit, I tend to just dot a little bit on and then I just use my finger. I find I have less chance of it squidging out, but also I get the glue to the edges so although I'm decoupaging, I don't want anything raised. I'm actually gluing it all down flat. Obviously, you could use a, a 3D glue if you wanted. So all these edges look. And then that just goes beautifully. And when I've done the cutting out, look, I've left, can you see, these black fronzy bits... So when you're cutting out, I don't cut these out. Two reasons. One, they're very difficult, so I like to make life easy for myself. But two, you can actually see them through because you've stamped first. So you can see that. So you've, you've no need to uh, cut it out. So that can go there. And then one of these there 
on this one. Make sure I get it the right way around. Just nestles beautifully there. There we go. Just give my hands a bit of a wipe. And again, for me, always put the lid back on your glue. We'll put that back over there. And then our last little finishing trick, I've got the purple Posca, and this is the sparkly one. And I just want to add a few little Posca splats. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a shake. And again, just add a few little, if you want smaller ones, I've got quite a large one there. We'll just give it a bit of a tap and move it further away. Move the pen, the further away your pen, the smaller the splats. And then what you must do when you've done that is give yourself a bit of a wipe of the mat. Otherwise, you'll end up putting your hands in it, putting... Now, I must admit, I'm so pleased I've coloured these in because, look, I can make myself another card and I've already got these coloured in ready. Now, that's the design finished. Now, it's up to you, look, if I bring this one in, I've matted and layered. I've put it on black card and then on orange and I've put a black Sharpie line round the orange. Now, I could, if I wished, look, leave that dandelion head just poking out like that. Now, I on my original waited till it dried and then just cut it flush. I'd rather wait till it's dry and cut it flush than cut it, put it on, and if you've miscut it a little bit, well, me, that's when I have trouble. So it's up to you. I'm not sure. Do you like it like that where it's all in? Or I must admit, I quite like that there where it's actually poking out oh let me know what do you think <laughs> you know what i'm like i have to say i do think that's the beauty of making these designs that certainly for me i never make the same thing twice they always just change up a little bit so i hope you've enjoyed that i hope you love these new stamps as much as i do i'm sure you will i'm sure you'll be i've got to be honest and i know we don't have favorites but this I'm, I'm going to be using this so much. I can imagine the mice hanging from it. Oh, so many things you can do with it. And, and she is just beautiful. And I'm sure we've got a pound stamp like this that I'm thinking I could stamp a few more. Again, you see, look what happens. You start being creative and then your mind, and before you know it, you've got all these other designs in your head. So thank you for joining me. I need to go now. I need to get on that road off to Ruthin. Meet Tracy and the gang. So you take care. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. And if you're coming to see me, I've got some cheeky biscuits ready for you. So you take care, everybody. Much love and hugs from me, as always. Bye for now. <laughs>